the champions. So this will suit your purposes? Yeah, that, that works for me. All right, it looks delicious. Enjoy. Doc has hired Dr. Sunil Verma, a physician and surgeon armed with an endoscope. Basically, it's a tiny camera that goes up my schnoz, down my throat, and into my stomach. This is going to be disgusting, isn't it? This will allow Dr. Dunn to track my digestion in real time while he looks for nematodes. Any lubrication at all? So I do have a little bit of lubrication. Let's not skip on the lube. Just go ahead and look towards me, try and lean forward a little bit. When is the last time you did this in the fish market? Oh, geez, it's been years at least. All right, so here we go. So a little bit of discomfort <laughs> through the nose. Yeah. As the endoscope goes up my nose, we can see long and winding road worm take through my intestinal interstate if one were lucky enough to hitch a ride. And if I do have one, a possible case of cramping or diarrhea, depending on the worm. And there we go. If you want to tilt towards your left a little bit, that's actually your throat, believe it or not. There's your tongue. Oh, it looked like my bubble. <laughs> Thank you. Why did you go from a low to a high for me? Uh... See that stretching out? Just like a guitar string. Oh, yeah. Got a little tiny singing bundle. <laughs> if you don't mind handing him over the food or even feeding him, if you don't mind. That'd be great. All righty. So now go ahead and slowly chew that. And we're watching your tongue and we're watching all of your throat muscles work together to swallow this food. It's actually a very complicated and coordinated act. And there we go. There's a little bit of the food right there. You see it sticking on your epiglottis. Now some of the food sticks to my epiglottis. A flap attached to my larynx. The rest makes its way south. That white rice really stands out. And there's your stomach. There's some of the oh. food that you've already digested. You've heard that phrase, you are what you eat? Well, imagine eating four and a half pounds of bacteria. That's how much good stuff we carry around in our guts. What's going on down there in terms of stomach acid and, you know, the conflict between bacteria and the good guys, if there's such a thing? Your stomach is filled with acid, which it helps to begin digest that food and break it down into particles that the rest of your small intestines and large intestines can handle. And that's where the bacteria are that start to help us out as well. Uh, you okay there? I don't want to see it come uh, back out. I threw up my mouth a little. Uh -oh. <laughs> I do apologize for that. After about 15 minutes, it appears we can't make out any worms. But that doesn't necessarily mean I didn't swallow one. You could have a worm right now that's struggling toward your stomach, trying to deal with the acid in your stomach, and just hoping, hoping for your intestines. What's so special about my intestines? Well, imagine a worm wriggling out of the fish. It leaves my stomach and lodges into my intestines where it looks for a mate. The worms have sex, and the eggs pass through me. They're looking for another sea creature to gulp them down and pass them on as they make their way up the food chain. Only, in my case, the eggs will wind up in the sewer, where they'll die lonely and unfulfilled in their life's quest. I'll go ahead and remove the camera then? You go ahead and do that. Yes, sir. Yes, those are my nose hairs. You already see my bowels. I have no shame. <laughs> you feeling all right? I feel fine. I, I won't lie to you. It was unpleasant, but it wasn't terrible. Like any good love story, this one has a happy ending. Turns out, if you freeze raw fish, like most sushi joints do, it's enough to kill most nematodes. Properly cooking it will also do the trick.